Seguimos con el próximo segmento de películas update que tienen más exclusivas para el estreno de Snake Eyes. We all know Snake Eyes as this absolute weapon. So I knew I had to step up my game. With Kenji Tanigaki, we did such an intensive training course. Many movies just have the sword fight. It's a gunfight. Car action. But this movie have everything. Kenji is a myth, a legend, a god. Money. When we shoot, we are on the same page. He's got years of knowledge of choreography and swordplay, samurai stuff. Their sword work is the best I've ever seen. Join us. What do I have to do? Let's find out. First week is hell week. Your body is literally going from zero to 60. All of the actors, they really breathe these characters through the training. Very intense, but super fun. Kind of like learning how to dance, but you are bruised at the end. It was hard, but now I feel invincible. Through the training, we all realized a lot about ourselves. We could do every single thing that was thrown at us. It's pretty amazing, actually. Haruka, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me about Snake Eyes. Uh, let me, I mean, it's a movie that has a lot of formidable female characters. Uh, there's not just the one, which is usually what happens in a big budget. So what would you say makes uh, Akiko stand out in, you know, in, the, in, in, in this uh, particular uh, trio of female badasses that we get to see on screen? Well, she's, um, she's a new character um, who's being introduced to the G.I. Joe universe through this film. And um, I think the fact that she's so, um, she, she's, you know, she, she's a real human being. She's very grounded. Um, she's very strong willed and she has a very complex relationship with both Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes, um, which hopefully lends to the, you know, her being a very believable character uh, while being, you know, a badass ninja. So. Yeah. Well, the thing of it is, usually in an action movie, one character gets like one assigning characteristic. But right. your producer, your producer said something particularly fantastic. I thought in the production notes, which is like, she is a badass ninja, but she could easily has the brain to, to be running the clan at one point. So was mm -hmm. was that gratifying to get to sort of allude to all those colors uh, while Absolutely. making her human? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it's such an honor to be able to play such a portray such a you know, uh, a complex and powerful um, female character. All right. So talk to me about the training, because you've got Kenji, who's a master, mm -hmm. uh, but also something that uh, caught my attention was like that it, you guys sort of found your character through the training like that, because uh, usually you would think like, oh, it's to look good on camera. But talk mm -hmm. to me about how the training enhanced the performance uh, for your character. I mean, I think it was very important for um, all of us uh, to, you know, be able to do our own stunts and do our own fight choreo because that's, you know, who these characters are. Um, so we went through a very intense um, training. We trained for two months um, every day, wow. two hours every day for two months with the stunt team who are senseis. Um, and yeah, I think towards the end, we, you know, got pretty good at it. And I think people will be mind blown to see what Henry can do with his sword because he is badass. Uh, yeah. Yeah, most definitely. So speaking of which, you set me up for the next question, which is the relationship between your character and Henry's is sort of a push and pull. That's interesting that I don't want to, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody who, who hasn't watched the movie when they see this. But uh, talk to me about sort of working that out with him as a scene partner, because it, it's not like a, it's like three different things happening mm -hmm. at the same time in all your scenes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, Henry's such a great actor, you know, he really, you know, lives and breathes the character and he, as a scene partner, he really draws you into that scene and into that moment. So, um, you know, like all these, like playing against him was a pure joy and everything came very naturally, nothing felt forced, you know, it was just, it was just there in the room. Mm. So G.I. Joe universe means a lot of things to a lot of people. This will be my last question, uh, just because of time. 
um, was it freeing to just have an all-new character and not have to have the shadow of like pe people who've been expecting like a Snake Eyes or the Baroness? Mm -hmm. I, I wonder if that helped you sort of get into it a little bit more. I mean, for sure, because I got to you know create the character from scratch without the pressure of portraying iconic characters. Um, so yeah, I got to um, really dive into the script and mold and shape the character with the the costume department and the hair and makeup department. So it was a very collaborative process and yeah it was a lot of fun all right shows on screen so my time's up pleasure talking to you stay Likewise. safe wherever you are Thank okay you, much. you too All right, Andrew, thank you. Thank you so much hey, for taking man. the time to talk uh, about your movie, oh. Snake Eyes. Thank so, you. Very I mean, nice uh, so tell me this. I mean, you're, you're playing an iconic character. How quickly did you set aside the fact that you have a bunch of fanboys, uh, you know, and people who've been thinking about this character for a long time and then just concentrate with the version that you're being handed in the script and sort of get down to business? Because I wonder if you factor in expectations at all. Yeah, I mean the 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 end product is out of my control, you know, as an actor. But the 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 work you put in is very much in your control. Um, so um, it is with something like this, uh, a property like this. Uh, um, it's very much, and also this is a, 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 a you know we're kickstarting the new uh, kind of rebooting rebooting it. So it's, it is a bit more. Um, I guess weight on your shoulders, but the main thing is, uh, I mean, for me personally, was I spoke to a bunch of fans, um, uh, and they were quite, we were lucky because we had a lot of them. We were training with a lot of them, you know, um, all nice. the guys in the fish, yeah, all the guys in the fish factory. A bunch of them were GI Joe fans uh, at the <laughs> beginning. Shout out to all you guys. We put in a lot of hard work. Uh, <laughs> the uh, <laughs> I'm doing shout outs now. No, um, and. Um, yeah, so once you, but the main thing is, I think, was once you get the essence of the character, because this is a modern interpretation in 30 years' time, who knows, you know, it's going to be very different actors playing those roles. So um, you, you're going to, you, all you do is focus on this one, and it's the essence and the spirit of the character, which is the most important. So once I kind of really got understood that from the fans, uh, what the essence of the character is, uh, then that's when, and once I understood that and felt that, that's when you go, okay, I'm doing my thing. You know. One of the things, I mean, you have Kenji, who is, uh, I mean, you know, a legend unto himself, uh, training you guys for the stunts. But uh, oh, one Kenji, of the things yeah. that, uh, yeah, so one of the things that really caught my attention is you mentioned, you guys mentioned, uh, through the training, you got deeper into the character. Because usually you think training is only to look good on camera. But I wonder if you could talk to me a little bit about sort of how the training enhanced your way into the character. Yeah, I think if you're smart about it, like you know, because you know, you, you, we've all seen, you know, a lot of you know a lot of certain actors are just trying to look badass or you know whatever it is but i think the main thing is is once you explore uh, the way a character fights reveals a lot about the psychology of the character you know mm -hmm. how someone moves how someone you know uh, all, all those things is you know it's 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 a uh, yeah malgram i think movement psychology uh, studied in acting school um and i think um yeah how a character moves in, in the space they are in it, uh, can inform the psychology of what how the character might think, uh, approach different people, and, and and I think just yeah, it's uh, it's something you're very conscious of going in, really, yeah. yeah. All right, so so your character sort of sees something in, in uh, Henry's character and decides to train him. I'm, I'm not, I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't seen the movie. But my question to you is like. Somebody, uh, do you remember somebody who saw something in you, a talent in you, or so something that sort of pushed you in the direction? performer as an actor who sort of like saw your raw talent and sort of push you in the right direction yeah man I, I mean I was uh, you know even though it was a long hard road uh, as an actor um, for me it, it was a uh, uh, I had a few people along the way that were really uh, that really instrumental Tom Radcliffe my act, uh, early acting coach you know you got your mummy and dad always um, you know and then, and then sometimes they get worried because you know your career is not kicking off um, uh, and then, you know, uh, the main person that, you know, changed my life was the, from Warrior, the TV show I did before. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for that. Um, so, yeah, I'm, 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 I was, I was uh, and that's a blessing as well. Yeah. Yeah. So shout out to mom and dad. He's doing good now. So pleasure talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. To yeah. Your, <laughs> stay yeah. safe wherever that's you are. Right. Okay.